But today it seems like you may have still have those values, but you're approaching things differently than when you would have approached things back then. Yes, because in those days, that kind of, a, you know, growing up that way created a very intense, hostile person. I mean, I, I had huge mood swings, well, very bad temper, and I'd fight anyone at the drop of a hat, including my wife. or my, Anything that I considered to be a threat towards me, the fight was on, even when they didn't mean it that way. And that's not, that's not a good way to create positive relationships. So I was able to, over the years, you know, eliminate that, that uh, those tendency. I actually did tremendous behavior modification in my life. And now I'm pretty, pretty zen-like, actually. I'm not a complete milk toast guy, but I'm pretty even keel now. And I never lose my temper. Well, what, what elicit the change that you wanted to actually seek a zen-like type of um, surrounding and within yourself and, and the surrounding around you? Well, I had the experience of learning about the law of attraction and how to actually use that law through affirmations, visualization, positive mental self-talks, and pictures. Because part of the problem is creating a, um, you know, creating a self-pride, you know, and so I was able to f figure out that I'm okay, and I did it through affirmations, uh, visualization, positive mental self-talks, and pictures. That was one big accomplishment, but I also realized that I could use this format to accomplish just about anything I wanted in life, and so I used those. You know, you sit down and I, I wrote my goals professionally and personally, and then I created affirmations around those goals to help me accomplish them.